Number 37, as a man, getting your money right is the most important thing you can do in life. Guys, I tell you, I got to tell you, okay? Dude, it breaks my heart when I meet a guy in his uh, 40s or 50s or older who just doesn't have his money right, okay? Now, I'm not saying you need to be like some, you don't need to be fucking giga rich, Andrew Tate, super rich, MLD rich, whatever. Um, but like you, you should have your finances in order. Okay. You should absolutely have your finances in order. There's no ands, ifs, or buts about it. If you don't have your finances in order as an older man, like in your forties and fifties, like, dude, uh, I'm, I say this in a, in a way that's going to sound judgmental, but like you are a joke. And the reason I'm saying that is because society is going to look at you too and say that you're a fucking joke as well, right? And so don't fucking um, – don't neglect your money. And, and don't don't be one of these idiots like money's not important. Money's the most fucking important thing that you have in this on this life other than your health, okay? If you don't have money, dude – you the quality of woman you can get is limited by your money the quality of life you have is limited by your money okay they just debunked that study that study that's like after seventy five thousand dollars a year your amount of honey amount of happiness doesn't fucking matter bullshit bullshit i knew it was bullshit okay because i've made seventy five thousand dollars a year and then i've made fucking million dollars plus a year let me tell you something that year i made million dollars plus fucking awesome okay it was lit okay look at it look at i'm reminiscing on that fucking year and look at the smile it brings to my face I, I, like dude no 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 and the internet is the greatest equalizer okay guys everything that i learned everything that i've made i learned from the fucking internet and meeting people okay um so no money's absolutely important and you're fucking full of shit if you don't think so and listen for you guys that are over the age of 35 if you're over the age of 35 and you don't have your money right you could kiss dating younger women goodbye because they're gonna look at you and be like why doesn't this old man have it shit together why have like why is this old dude like broke what happened why is he fucked up okay and, and just so you guys know today's message is like i don't know man just not like it's just not who I am to fucking cherry coat and uh, sugarcoat things. So, like, I'm just not going to do it, okay? Uh, and you just got to get over it. All right. So, here's another one right here. Thank Chad McBad, $5 super chest. Says, Happy birthday, John. Your content is a game chaser. Also, what did you do to get those pearly whites? I flew to Columbia, and I laid down in a chair in some sketch dental office, and I let this Colombian dentist uh, do my teeth. Can you tell one of my one of my veneers broke off? Look, can you tell which one it is? It's this one. Went out one night and um, uh, just woke up in the morning and I, I I bite down when I sleep, unfortunately, and uh, I I bit down and I snapped the veneer right in half because I have superhuman strength. Uh, Brandon M. $2 super chat sends a cake. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But yeah, um, Ebiz says, relationships trump money, MLD. I don't agree respectfully. That's okay. That's okay. You can disagree. But at the end of the day, the quality of your relationships go up when you have more money. I'm not saying that money is better than relationships. All I'm saying is money makes everything better, okay? Get the high, better quality food, better quality health care. You live longer. Dude, like, if my mom needs help, she can pick up the phone and be like, son, I need help. I'm like, mom, I fucking got you. Okay? If anybody I love needs help, I got you. Okay? So, and then he, shout out to this man right here, Billy Huang. Look, the Billy sent me a $100 donation. He didn't even have to. He didn't even send a letter. He didn't send any attachment. He didn't send anything at all. With it, actually, I did check uh, Stream Streamlabs. I don't know if you sent it through Streamlabs, and, and you sent me a a notification. 
I forgot to check that. But uh, Billy, you're an awesome guy, and you have a, a beautiful, manly voice that I really think you need to do something with because, you know, God has blessed you with a fucking awesome voice. You have a really, really great voice. Um, Let me know, Billy. Yeah, money is an amplifier, like Tate says. Yeah, that's true, man. Just give somebody money and watch what happens. Like, do do their does their does the quality of their content go up or does it goes down? Do they get fat or do they get fitter? Do they become more of an asshole to become like more empathetic, nicer, kinder, better person? Right? Because kindness, I think people think like kindness is a weakness or something like that. But you know, like, dude, money, money is like, dude, it's no, like you're you're out of your mind. Like, money, money is an amplifier, though. I've seen money change people, and uh, it's pretty pathetic, personally. Just because I'm not a guy that I'm not I, I'm not a sellout. I'm not a guy that can be bought or sold. OK, um, I, I'm just one of those people you can't buy. Like I'm fucking I'm Rorschach at the end of. um, What's that movie called? Uh, With all like the dark superheroes. Uh, fucking hey. Uh, it's, it, you know, with uh, Dr. Manhattan. And uh, that. Watchmen, there you go. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking Rorschach at the end. He's like, oh, "Fuck you, man! Like, you're not gonna, I'm not gonna compromise my values. I'm not gonna, you're, I'm not for sale. People know that I'm not for sale. I don't need you. I don't need your money. I don't need your endorsement. My ally is the truth, and a powerful ally it is. My ally's integrity. My ally's doing the right thing. 